Wake up. Wake up. What? Do you realize it's our 40 day anniversary? 40 days together. <laughs> Feels like yesterday, huh? Well, that time's flown. Mm. And you still don't talk about her much? I prefer to forget her. I wish... I wish we'd never met up. You must have loved her to get married. She was an achiever. Driven. We met at university. As soon as the course finished, we sort of drifted apart and went our own ways. It must have been five years before we, we met up again. In a romantic location, no doubt. <laughs> Hardly. It was a seminar <clears throat> for the clothing industry. Huh. You don't look the designer type. I wasn't. I used to buy end-of-the-line stuff from the British market and sell it to places like uh, India. Really? Yeah. We we just um, reconnected, I guess. Got married a few months later and merged our companies. Much to my regret. So... How long were you together? A little under two years. We both travelled a lot, but a lot of our travels were like pleasure rather than business. Yeah, you don't have to say anymore. I know. <laughs> so how about you? I mean, I, I have a reason for forgetting my my previous life, but you've told me you've not told me <coughs> anything about your love life. Nothing to say, really. After university, I moved in with Swenson. He was Danish, but we parted six weeks later. I mean, he was just boring. Like, this boring. No, it's not. <laughs> so, so how did you become this, this free spirit? <laughs> I guess I wasn't happy. I was just so tired of my father's diplomatic lifestyle. I was so protected. I guess I wanted to rebel, just do something for myself. And then I met a group of artists at a music festival and they had a completely different view of life. And they were all so happy. It's from my ex-wife's accountants. They want me to meet in town today. Maybe they want to repossess the car. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs>